some tell details. Tell us a little bit some details. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what can you Inter tell us? The interrogation is under the secrecy, mm -hmm. as you know, so I won't reveal anything about the interrogation. What I need to say is the following. Here in Greece, we're a state of justice. It's a state under the, law, the rule of law. So there is no political intervention whatsoever, and everything is decided by the judge and the prosecutors. The judge and the prosecutor do not accept interventions from politicians, not our politicians, not anybody. This is your message to Croatian politicians? No, this is my message to the Croatian media, because I've heard a lot of rumors going around uh, about uh, several aspects that uh, are not uh, evenly close to what is happening right now. What I can tell you is the following. At the beginning, uh, the, our case was very bad, as you all know. Uh, media report, media coverage uh, was uh, all against us because they were saying things that it didn't really occur. But during this time, we worked a lot of we worked hard. Evidence came out, so I think that we are in a better place now to say what has happened and what didn't happen. We need, and I'm talking for the people, the families of the uh, guys in prison in Croatia, there are 95 of, uh, of mine, they have to be calm, wait, I think things will get, will, we will do the best we can and just be patient. But did you hear that this case is politicized, you know? I can't hear you very well. Our Prime Minister said I'm that... Not, I'm not going to comment about Prime Minister, your Prime Minister or my Prime Minister, no Prime Minister. I'm just telling you what's happening judicially in Greece. Is it possible that some BBB will be released this week? Um, what's the procedure? I'm not deciding. We will end tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we still have uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> supplementary interrogations, right? Until this is over, nothing can occur. Uh, we have filed petitions and we are waiting for uh, the, the outcome of our petitions. If our petitions uh, are rejected, we will appeal. We will do the best we can to get everybody out, but judicial. Are there deadlines for this decision? No. Like it? No. No, because you have to keep in mind that uh, we have uh, 102 Croatian people. Every petition is individualized. We, are, we didn't make a, one petition for every Croat. Every, peti every Croat has his own petition, right? So th they have to elaborate each petition separately. Mm -hmm. This takes time. We heard from a lot of lawyers today that 15 days is uh, like a realistic time for them to make okay, a decision. Yeah, I don't know, is he a psychic or something? They say usually well, based on I their guys, experience. Yeah, based on their experience of one person. Mm -hmm. We're talking about 105 persons here. I don't know. I, I don't want to give a time timeline because you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of people uh, anxious about their loved ones. So, don't, uh, I, I, I will be the last person to tell them that it's 10 days, 7 days, 5 days, 15 days, and I, I don't want to come out wrong, because they wouldn't sleep at night. So, let's wait. I think that all, it's not going to happen at once. Whatever it happens, decisions will be released to us gradually, and we will see what's going to happen. Which what guy is in the hardest position? I can't comment on that. You know is it that. still the guy that police claims they found their knife? So about the guy that uh, uh, the police claims that they found the knife, they found uh, other DNAs on the knife, but not his DNA and not his fingerprints. Also, we have pictures of him with the naked bare arms and without gloves. So I think he's off the hook about this, this category. And can you tell me one more thing? From 95 uh, people, who, uh, ha uh, who, how many guys have n no evidence? No pictures, no phones? How many of them? Of 95? Can you tell us the number, please? Uh, around 60. Uh, around 60. 